Welcome back, fellow land lovers. This is Luke Smith with RuralVacantLand.com, and I've got another property to show you. This one is in Navajo County, Arizona. I'm asking $1,077, 4.7 acres. Let's take a look at this property. I'm going to jump into RuralVacantLand.com. It's my little website here. I've got properties going back and forth all the time. So if you're ever looking for land, vacant land, we usually have the best prices in the area. So take a look at this one. This one's 1077 bucks. Towards the end of this video, I'm gonna jump into the market and I'm gonna compare what else we can find for that kind of money in this area. But first, let's show you the property. So 4.77 acres is what I was calculating out to be. It's gonna be more or less, it's not gonna be super precise, exacto accurate acreage, but right around that size. So here's a map, got this map on the website's interactive map. You can zoom into the map and you can see the lot lines on the property and you can see where the roads are, you can see where the neighbors are, and you can zoom in and out and stuff. I love playing with maps, guys. This is one of my passions. Um, I got second place in Geography Bee when I was in middle school. And uh, the last question, I remember one of the best questions in there was about Easter Island. And I answered that one. It took out like the last 10 or 15 people in the crowd besides one other person. And I, one other person answered, I forget what they answered. They answered something better than I did. And I got second. But you know, I've just always liked maps and different geography stuff. And so this this is right up my alley. We look at this mountain over here. We've got a plateau, dark hills on one side and flat on top. If we went 3D on this thing, you might be able to see it. I think we should do that too. But the mountains go down to the south and then they come around. And then there's uh, there's this river here where there's some water and they got some farming going on. That's where Taylor, the town of Taylor is happening. And then there's a the town of Snowflake just above it. And there's water that comes down these mountains. So if you're drilling for water on a property like this or some other one in the area, if you've got other ones on the website too in the area, this is the cheapest. But um, the, uh, the water table is shallower here at the foothills. If we zoom out, we'll zoom out and zoom back in. I'll start talking about the local town again. So you can see these mountains. They, they capture some water and they zoom in. We're in Arizona, if you didn't figure that out already. And we're north of Phoenix, and we're north of Tucson, we're south of uh, Flagstaff, south of Winslow, Holbrook, Interstate 40, in between, where the, it's like 5,500 foot elevation, I believe. I might be a little off, but right around there. So you get a pleasant summer and a, a mild winter without being crazy, like up here in the mountains it gets more crazy, or down in Phoenix it gets more crazy summer. So it's a more temperate climate. And... Um, so the water that comes in these mountains for the last generations of millennia has been soaking into the rocks underneath here. And so from what I've heard of the different guys that bought land from me and gone out and drilled wells, they have uh, they said, like, one guy's saying 70 foot. It's like, man, you hit the jackpot. But other guys are saying 90 foot, 120 foot, 300 foot. You know, so so think about, like, 100 to 300 foot kind of wells in this area is my, my, my mindset for this area when people are asking. Um so we zoom in we got this four point something acre hooked up to the road the county wants you to build a driveway before you can get a building permit on the property you got to build driveway show them you got a driveway and then you can get a building permit um, but over here you take these little roads up and around and go to snowflake and through to taylor in between snowflake and taylor they look at this walmart they put a walmart super center in here you got taco bell and uh let's just look at that there's o'reilly's auto parts I was just at O'Reilly's this weekend. I bought a battery for my my uh, wife's friend's car. His battery died. It's like, oh, we'll just go get you a new one. Um, you know, it's really nice to have auto parts store in the area. So Walmart has batteries and that stuff too, but it's nice to have more sophisticated auto parts store. So Walmart, big parking lot, outdoor living. So we got the outdoor center. I don't know if it's got the groceries and everything, but it's got Circle K next to it. Three dollars and five cents gas. I wish it were that cheap here in California. Um, if it were, the roads would be clogged up. People wouldn't think about how often they drive or not. Kind of wish the prices would go higher so people stop driving and <laughs> get the road to myself. Here's uh, uh, is that Carl's Jr. I don't know what that is. So there's you know towns popping up, sprouting up in this area. Between Taylor and Snowflake, it's happening. Look at this four-lane road with a median. This is a serious road, right? For middle of nowhere. So you're you're not that far from the middle of nowhere. Um, you're in the middle of nowhere, but you're not that far from supplies, is what I should say. Here's an elementary school. Here's some churches. Um, 
What else do they have? Northern Arizona Academy. Just some more, more school stuff. Some more churches. Here's a bank, National Bank of Arizona. Some more churches. Um, Ace Hardware. So I bet you stop in there a bunch when you're setting up your homestead. Um, high school might be where the kids go. And U-Haul. You might want to drop your U-Haul off there when you move in. So they're up, round, down. There's another U-Haul dealer. Bet you U-Haul is pretty popular because people are moving into the area. Um, so that's where the property is. You can play with that map on my website, ruralvacantland.com. We've got maps like that for all the different properties on the website, almost all of them. Sometimes they're not set up yet because they're so new we're still setting them up. But for the most part, they're all on the website. And um, got crazy heater going on in the background here. 5,900 foot elevation. GPS is on the website. You can hit the GPS to give you driving directions to the property. Um, saying water, do you know, water catchment, well or delivery. Um, taxes are like 58 bucks a year. And yeah, so I had some pictures of hospitals and stuff in there, but they don't seem to be coming up right now. Um, but I knocked the price down to 1,077 bucks. So let's take a look. Oh, I was just looking at the county maps. The county's got this one. Um, so the northern half was, was the half. This is 20 acres here. So this northern piece is a 20 acres. And then I sold a piece of it off to one guy, um, you know, like a fifth of it off. And then so I've got four more of these fifths to sell. So this would be one of the fifths to sell. This would be the this is kind of in the middle. And then I got a 30-foot easement going along the north to get out to these roads. It's the way it's set up. So that first one's done recorded mapped out and everything so it should be really straightforward to do it for you on the next one here's the county maps i don't know they might be kind of light to see on the screen um let's if i can zoom in some there's a plat map so the first piece got split off i made it 305 feet wide and i probably just keep that distance going across the top here and it's uh they've got they've got the mapping down to like the fraction of a foot now on the county websites which is pretty cool it makes it a lot easier to split these properties up if you ever wanted to go split these properties up i mean you could you could buy this four acre or something you could probably split it four ways if you really wanted to um 150372 that's the that's from here to here you know just divide that by five and yeah and the thing's not straight look 1321 is the height of the original 40 over here and then 1323.2 over here it's not a perfect square so when I'm making these, I make the width, and that's why I don't know the exact exacto acreage. It's going to be whatever that line bends at there. I guess I could do that math, but you get the idea. Um, so we jumped into Zillow. I'm in the lower parts of Navajo. I'm not showing you the high, high up there, way up there, Navajo. Well, I can. Let's just start with the whole county. That's probably the most honest view of land, right? What's the cheapest in the county? That's my favorite presentation <laughs> it's hard for people to keep up with that cheapest land in the county cheapest land in the state you find it all over ruralvacantland.com that's the theme that's what sells land so three days on zillow cheapest thing one thousand four hundred dollars 2.65 acres so it's like i just a little bit bigger than half of the one that i've got i'm asking one thousand seventy seven dollars so that's like three hundred and twenty um three dollars more than than mine but you know like kind of mine's about twice the size of that almost twice the size of that and this is north so here's the difference i want to show you guys when you're looking at navajo look at this the cheapest ones the little bubbles they all pop up north of the 40. if we zoom in here north of the 40 i mean i'm not saying this is no go zone because I've had lots of properties up here. I sold properties all over this countryside. I split up hundreds of them. They're, just all, they're all over the place. I've sold lots and lots and lots of properties up here. I'm just saying they're cheaper. That's what I'm trying to say. So 15 grand, 2.9 2 grand, um, 2 grand, 1.4. So these cheap ones are up here and Holbrook's over here. Sun Valley's over here. This Sun, this Sun Valley area is some of the cheapest land you'll see in northern Arizona and Navajo and pretty much anywhere. It's really cheap land in this area, right? I'm not trying to compete with that cheap, cheap, cheap stuff. It's a lower elevation. It's a hotter summer. It's uh, some people like that. That's perfect for some people. It's uh, um, 
there's less supplies. I mean, yeah, you're close to the freeway, but good luck going to, you know, get a new battery for your car when the battery dies. Like, you got to go a long ways. You got to, you know, hopefully Amazon delivers, right? They'll take their normal one-day delivery in town turns into four-day delivery out here. You get the idea. So down south, um, you've got uh, a lot closer to supplies. I was showing you that Walmart, grocery store, gas station stuff. is just around the corner. And so prices are a little bit higher. Water levels are shallower. The water wells are, you know, 80, 90, 100 foot, 200 foot, 300 foot, not starting at 500 foot going to maybe 900 foot if you, <laughs> you got a bad one um like you might find in the north i shouldn't laugh but that's just the way it is these are shallower water tables so it's a lot easier to get water and uh, it's easier to get supplies and so why not pay up a little bit more to get something a lot easier and so that's that's part of it but even then i'm still cheaper than the stuff up in the cheap cheapo lands at a thousand seventy seven bucks if i get it on zillow it's going to be probably sold by the time Zillow posted on their website um, at these prices. So there's there it is. I pulled up, this is left over from a previous video. I got two acres plus. So two acres plus, they're starting at $5,400. I don't even think I need to go looking down the list from there. Mine's $1,077. And anything in this area of that size is asking like five grand and up. So mine's a lot cheaper now if you want to go take a look at mine um, there's a GPS coordinates on the website you can go to the link in the description below it'll take you back here hit the GPS coordinates on the screen and it'll give you driving directions to go to the property there's a buy it now button in the listing and you can fill out your information there and make it yours right away click 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 put your bank account information in there or your credit card or your debit card or whatever your your uh, you like to use or you got money in stick it in there and go for it okay so um yeah there you go cheapest land in the area you might find something cheaper on the website but cheapest compared to everybody else in the market thanks for listening thanks for watching again this is luke smith ruralvacantland.com bringing you the cheapest easiest land around the area hope you enjoyed this one if you like these kinds of videos hit subscribe i'll keep serving up more about other properties that we've got uh, see you in the next one. Bye.